Hello everyone, as you can see, we have something a little bit different on the channel, but not so different because we have featured creatures from the creature stall from Galaxy's Edge or Batu East or Batu West, depending on where you visit. Uh, and uh, today we do have the Lava Meerkat. Uh, this Lava Meerkat is actually my daughter's. It is not mine. Uh, his name is Mango. <laughs> Anyways, all right. So what we're going to do is to just take a closer look at him, uh, see what he looks like, look at his um, articulation. He's got a lot of articulation, by the way. Uh, just uh, taking a closer look at him, seeing his sounds, uh, taking a look at the tag. Uh, my daughter's had this for like a week or so, so I thought I'd uh, do that. Um, so let's go ahead and take a closer look here. Uh, to start off with, this is probably gonna be a short video. If you have any questions as I go through this, make sure to ask down below. As you can see, the name, it's a lava meerkat. The type, it's a mammal. Uh, home planet is Navarro, and the diet is fire ticks. Uh, and it's for ages three and up. Uh, it does require two AAA batteries, which is included, and they'll pull the little tag uh, to activate it within the creature stall there. As you can see, it looks like he's incredibly poseable, and he is, and we'll see more of that in just a moment. Um, and you touch the head to activate sounds. All right, um, let's see, these, man, sometimes the, the writing on this is so hard to read. These silicate surrogates <laughs> are heat-resistant mammals whose oily coats are fireproof. The glittery-eyed meerkats are re regarded as nuisances by most Navarro Citizens, Zenisons, citizen. That should be citizens. I don't know. A little more than severe vermin. All right. Anyways, um, and that's basically what we've got. He is thirty four ninety nine. If you are a pass holder or a DVC member, uh, it is you get a twenty percent off uh, discount. I have not seen this guy on uh, Shop Disney yet, so he's only available, uh, as far as I'm aware, uh, at. Uh, the uh, Galaxy's Edge. Uh, and going a little history here, uh, if you've watched The Mandalorian season two, you've obviously seen him. I think The Mandalorian is the only time we've ever heard of or seen the Lava Meerkat. I'm sure if you're watching the video, you'll let me know down below if I'm incorrect on that. Um, I believe he was in two episodes of The Mandalorian and a book as well. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and see what this guy actually is. I mean, he is super cute. You know, if you don't like rodents, you probably won't like this guy. <laughs> uh, my wife, for instance, hates rodents. Um, all right. So uh, hopefully you can hear him. I don't know. Let's go ahead and move the mic so you make sure you definitely hear him. I don't know why he's not making sound now. Usually he makes way too much sound. All right, I guess I just wasn't getting the, uh, the sensor earlier. All right, so head, really good movement. As you can see, it'll pose. The legs are incredibly posable. I mean, you can even get him to do an equivalent of standing up. <laughs> I know that didn't really work very well. Let's go ahead and see if it's good. There you go. You can get him standing up like that. Uh, I mean, you can really get him in almost any position you want. The tail is incredibly poseable as well. He does shed a little bit. I mean, out of all the creatures at the creature stall, this this little guy, this lava meerkat, he is the most lifelike, in my opinion. Uh, to get a size, um, an idea of his size and scale, you know, the nose to the butt <laughs> it's about 12 inches his tail adds maybe another nine uh inches so i mean he's a good 20 some odd inches uh in length as far as the height you know 
you got about five inches on the front, maybe six inches on the back to the, the shoulder regions. So, I mean, he's, he's pretty cool. I mean, I, I like him. Uh, my daughter really likes him. Like I said, my wife does not. Um, as far as uh, changing the battery on this guy, it's just this little tiny uh, box in here. Uh, and you just unscrew that and that's it. Uh, the, to turn them off, just got that switch there. And then all you gotta do is Velcro him back. And just like that, he's not making any noise anymore. <laughs> it's funny, at the beginning of the video, I couldn't make him make now noise. And then all of a sudden he was making tons of them. So with that, uh, I think that was a good look at the, at, at the figure. If you have any questions, make sure to ask down below. Uh, if you uh, like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, I invite you to do so. We do lots of things on the channel that a professional geek might find interesting. And with that, have a great day.